Yonghugong in Beijing is one of the highest level Buddhist temples. With the mixed style of Han, Manchu, Mongolian, and Tibetan, the main hall is flanked by huge tonkas. The Tibetan scroll paintings are so attractive to both Chinese and Western viewers that they would stand there gazing at the marvelous pictures, reluctant to leave. Tonka is a scroll painting in Chinese. The pictures are drawn on a huge piece of cloth, hemmed in with silk of all colors, or sewn with embroidery, or pasted with silk rims. The sizes vary, with the biggest being dozens of square meters, and the smallest less than 0.1 square meters. The mineral pigment used is hard and fast, lasting for hundreds or even thousands of years without fading. The conception for the pictures is novel in style. On a very small picture, there is heaven on the top part, the human world in the middle part, and hell in the bottom part. Highlighted in the independent yet consistent images are Buddhist figures with multi-plot, continuous stories naturally and cleverly separated by variations of mountains and rocks, and clouds and flowers by using the cavalier perspective method. These four pieces of magnificent tankas are all from the hand of Nima Zeren, an official painter of Panchen Ardini Chog E Gaya in Kane. This talented artist is a recreator of tankas. Nima was born in 1944 in Batang County in Gansu Prefecture, Sichuan Province. When he was one years old, he moved with his parents to the ancient cultural town of Dege, hemmed in on four sides with snow-capped mountains. Dege has then become his hometown. It is a small town inhabited by tens of thousands of Tibetans. Nearly all the people believe in Buddhism. In the town, there is the momentous Dege scripture printing house colorful murals in vivid bronze and clay sculptures. All these had a deep imprint in the young heart of Nima. They have given him profound religious culture and knowledge and cultivated his aesthetic talent. He has painted many pictures based on stories described in the Buddhist scriptures. The figures in his work include the solemn and vivid Sakyamuni, Guru Padsamambhava, or the lotus born, the calm and amiable Guru Zongkaba, the four armed Guan Yin, and the fierce looking Dharma protector and the god of wealth. He developed on the basis of traditional Tibetan painting. The water moon Guan Yin, or Bodhisattva of compassion, and many other Buddhist images all retain the style of Tangka while maintaining accuracy and vividness in shapes soft strokes and fresh colors. The image of Guan Yin is sedate, free from the interference by the changing world, looking extraordinarily calm and cool, very natural. His works won the appreciation of the 10th Panchen, who encouraged him, you know both Buddhist cultures, the Han and Western cultures, and you must well integrate the three cultures and carry forward the tradition of Tibetan culture. He then conferred on him the supreme honor as an official painter of the Panchen. If we say Tibetan culture is a magnificent but calm snow mountain, Tibetan Buddhism is the soul and Tangka is the eyes of this snow mountain. Tangka is forever a precious treasure of the Tibetan civilization.